In this video, I want to look at a second very common mistake that students will make when they are first learning U substitution. So again, I want to get started with an example. Suppose we were looking for the antiderivative of x squared times the cosine of x squared dx. Now a student looks at this problem and they correctly identify cosine of x squared as a composition and the inside function is x squared. We've got some x squareds. We've got an x squared sitting there inside the integral. And so a student will often think that what they should do is let u be equal to x squared and then du is going to be equal to 2x dx. And uh, if they're looking at this integral sign, they realize that 2 is, is not there, but that's not a problem. And we do have x's there. We've got an x to x there. And so they make the following bad, incorrect u substitution. And let me correct my handwriting there. So they're going to make the following bad, incorrect u substitution. They're going to take this information and they're going to write that this integral is going to be 2 over 2 times the integral of x times x times cosine of x squared times a dx. And then they're going to think, okay, here's the 2, here's an x, and there's a dx, and those form to be, for, go together to form a du. So my integral is now 1 half the integral of x times the cosine of u du. And at this point, they start saying to themselves, I don't know what to do about that x. So I guess I'll just move it outside the integral. And so the x comes outside the integral, and they're looking at x over 2 times the cosine of u du. And uh, at this point, they can say the following. They say, what I'm looking at is x over u. I know how to, uh, x over 2, I know how to integrate cosine of u du. That's going to be the sine of u plus a constant. And I know what u is. u over here is x squared. So I've got x over 2 times the sine of x squared plus whatever constant that I want to add. Now the thing is, is this is a wrong answer. And I want to make it clear why this is a wrong answer. Well, what I want to remember is that we can figure out whether or not an answer is wrong by differentiating it. So look at this. We're going to take our answer and we're going to differentiate it. We're going to differentiate x times sine of x squared over 2. Now the easiest way of doing this derivative is to get that 1 half moved out and look at this as the derivative of x times sine of x squared. This is a product rule, so let's look at the product rule. We've got 1 half times the derivative of the first part is 1 times the second part, plus the derivative of the second part times the first part. And this derivative here is going to involve the chain rule. So let's get that particular derivative taken very nicely. We've got 1 half times sine of x squared plus the derivative of sine of x squared is going to be the cosine of the junk times the derivative of the junk, which is a 2x, times that x. And so we're now looking at 1 half times the quantity sine of x squared plus 2x squared times the cosine of x squared. And when we algebraically simplify this, we're going to get sine of x squared rather, over 2 plus, uh, I need to clean up my notation there, plus 
x squared times cosine of x squared. And this is most definitely not just x squared times the cosine of x squared, which was our original integrand. If you go back up here, our original integrand was x squared times the cosine of x squared. Well, the derivative of this mess, which was our answer, is not equal to the original integrand. And so what that says is that whatever this particular integral is, the antiderivative of x squared times the cosine of x squared is not going to be the thing that we were looking at, which was x times the sine of x squared over 2. So this guy is not going to be x times the sine of x squared over 2. And what that means in the context of this problem is that this work here is wrong. So I want to kind of x through this. But I also want to point out that where the mistake was is right here. The mistake was going from here to here. Variables cannot go through the integral sign. When you finish a u substitution, all of the x's should be gone from the integral. You should not have any more x's left at all.